And also now it's a good time uh, if you have any questions to any of us. I will. Last uh, minute, Please uh, speak to the mic because uh, everything will be taped and people will hear out. So now the word Thank is free. Uh, I have one question to Raf. Uh, Raf, if uh, you prepare this um, survey, um, please um, give us some time to uh, for answering and for for um, one extra loop in uh, some questions to the answers. I've seen. Um, we have a lot of service in, in the EMTA group and some of them are really clear and easy to answer and some of them are um, a hard work, not because the question is, is, is not so good, but the responsibility in our organization is so different and we have to uh, make research, intern research, what is a possible answer. For example, if you ask of funding in the city of Vienna, we have an idea how they do this with the internal um, operator, but all the costs is, is um, to make a, a clear statement is nearly impossible for me. Do you accept uh, all the reserves they built for, for uh, pensions? Do you include this or not? This, uh, um, some of the people, they work in this internal operator, civil servants, and we have to, to do a lot of research um, if this funding uh, survey is a big one. And please plan some time for us to do this and a loop for questions. Yeah, definitely. What, what we want to do is, that's why we'll start with a very simple questionnaire that allows you very fast to uh, identify the case studies that you think are relevant to, to funding. Then with the researcher, that person will then start exploring some of the ones that we want to, to, to get more information on. Uh, we, we know, we all receive surveys from, from different members and it's always uh, an added activity that we have to do. So I, I, I think everyone feels it has the same sentiment as you in terms of surveys. But what we want to do with this one is make it easy, simple, and, and, and as we identify the key topics, then uh, there's a more detailed sort of interview process. I mean, there's, there's a project that uh, Future Cities Catapult is doing for UITP uh, called UMI. It's a, an index on innovation. Yeah. And it, it started that way. First as a very simple questionnaire. And then they focused on different sides of, of, uh, uh, on, on different topics in, in greater detail. And it's a nice way of doing it. Uh, uh, we're all very busy, but we also want to learn and, and share knowledge. So it, it's balancing that. Okay, and I would, yes, please, uh, Lassa will hand you the mic, or oh, sorry, Raf. Just a quick question, if I may. I know we're here as EMTA, but a lot of people here are also members of UITP, including your good self, Raf. Um, just, to, just to be sure that we're not duplicating work that's already been done in Transport Economics Commission, which I think you're a member of anyway, UITP, or other UITP bodies are thinking of doing in the, in the future. This is completely separate, albeit it could be shared with UITP if needed, but we're not doing it twice, if you see what I mean. Exactly. Um, uh, Ruth might want to comment, but uh, it, that's exactly what we want to do. And in fact, the, the uh, UITP uh, policy board, if, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, has asked all the different commissions to work uh, closer together so that there's no repetition of work because even within UITP there's repetition of papers on, on similar things. So uh, Ruth has been liaising uh, uh, very closely with UITP to ensure that we as, as, a, as a community add value to in, in different areas. So I know uh, the OAC which is a, a committee within UITP is doing some work on uh, value um, land value added, uh, land value capture, we don't need to do that. We let them do that. We focus on, on a different area. And that's why this questionnaire initially is going to be simple so that we can decide what areas to focus. Okay, ladies. And okay. Yes, please. Just to add, 
what uh, Raf said. We talked about this yesterday in the small working group. Two things. We can still need the support of some experts of us. So far we have Raf and we have uh, Jose Molto and Luis Alegre there, very active members. Uh, there were others that would have liked to be here, like Montreal. We mentioned the uh, issue of the, uh, the pension fund, which is responsible for investing. Uh, so that is financing, basically, uh, borrowing money from a, from a public pension fund in Montreal, where we witnessed that they are going to develop a light rail, uh, light rail system through the whole city based on electrification. So... Uh, with public money, with pension fund premiums, because they get a better return uh, they expect from a deal on design, build, operate and maintain together with the Montreal and the Quebec and government than they have on interest from banks, which is not surprising, I think. So we get, what we like to do and ask you, if you have not only your own, uh, your own ecosystem of finance or funding in this case, you have ideas uh, like uh, you work as Raf said, from parking income, which is done, for example, in uh, Vilnius. The, uh, Vilnius is able to levy parking fees and use that for other purposes than uh, infrastructure for cars, but also for public transport if they would like to, to introduce other systems of fare or uh, payment. If you know of these kind of systems, like we have in the use case of Nottingham or others, share it with us. The, uh, provide your information and we can have a look at it. Uh, tax incrementing fi incremental financing is one of these tools that are applied in some cities, in the, uh, I think also in Sweden or in Denmark, I forgot. But all these kind of examples could help us to develop more innovative methods of, uh, of funding. Like we have also related to fairs, you know that you can visit in some cities a concert hall or a band uh, in some venues. And in the fee, or in the, the entrance fee, is included a small part for using public transport. So you can also use that small part of funding to propel your system to uh, make sure that your peak capacity goes up via your own system, via your own operators and your own funding mechanism. These are ve very valuable things to, to have. I will say something more about it tomorrow in the internal affairs. This is basically the goal. Report to us if you're interested. Report to Rafa to me and get engaged in this working group.